welcome again to Caroline's Saucy Kitchen. <laughs> I love that name. And today it really is going to be saucy because I'm making um, fish curry, which is so easy. It's a fabulous go-to meal. Um, I have a little confession to make. Uh, when Shafiq first suggested I make these videos for him and the kids, um, I was actually making fish curry for dinner that night. So I said, all right, come in the kitchen then and you know, film me doing it. And of course it took forever because I had no idea what we were going to do and we giggled lots and it wasn't you know, suitable to be shown to the public. But it kind of gave us an idea of what we didn't want to do. So that was the end of that. And then a couple of weeks ago, um, I was stuck at work a bit late. And, um, you know, Shafiq called said, what are we having for dinner? And so I jokingly said, oh, why don't you have a go at making the fish curry? Never in a million years thinking he would do it. And anyway, he did. He watched the video. And I came home that evening to the most delicious fish curry. And so if he can make it after 24 years of marriage, our first meal, and it came out delicious, then you can too. Right, enough said on that. So here we go, our ingredients. Um, two onions, chopped. Two jalapenos. Um, if you don't like it that spicy, use one. Three cloves of garlic, which I pressed through the garlic press to mush it. Um, a cup of tomatoes, or a small tin, 14 ounces, about that. Um, have some chicken stock or vegetable stock on hand, because we might need to make it more saucy when we cook, we, but we judge that when we're doing it. Three tablespoons of canola oil and then the Indian spices. Um, I have a teaspoon of turmeric, cumin, coriander, garam masala, cayenne pepper, which is the hot pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. So that's all there, simple. Um, and then the next part, of course, is the fish. Uh, we have tried different fishes, and to be honest, we just prefer tilapia. It's got a nice, mild taste, and cooks up great. So I need four tilapia fillets. Um, what I'm gonna show you is what I do, because it's so easy. If you have fresh fish, fabulous, use it. But I discovered one time, um, I think it's, I'll show you actually in this. At the grocery shop, you can actually buy frozen uh, tilapia fillets all ready to go. They come in little individual packets. And they are fat, they're great. Just leave them in the freezer and you can whip them out. And what I do is usually I fill the sink up with cold water and pop them in for fillets while I get all the rest of the ingredients ready. And by the time that's all done, they've defrosted. But I'm just going to show you one. Obviously, I don't normally have this bowl up at the counter, but I just wanted you to see what I do. This is what Shafiq said he saw in the video, and it was really helpful. So basically, I just, they've been you know, sat in the water. I take them out, and then just with a pair of kitchen scissors, just kind of cut along. So like bite-sized pieces. Oh, that's a bit good. Don't do them too small, because if you do, they'll end up like mush in your, in your um, curry, which you don't want. And how easy is that? Okay. So that's the four fillets. Now, this is, that's the fish curry as it is. But there's a little extra something you can do if you want to jazz it up a little bit that we only recently discovered. Um, is I like to add shrimp or prawns to it. And we found these little tiny scallops, which are absolutely yummy. They're like little bites of nectar. Um, and again, as you can see, I just buy frozen. So that's that, that. Oh, it's got a sticker on the front there. And the shrimp. And I just run them onto the cold tap, um, again, for a few minutes. Take the tails off and they're ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to um, saute the onions and the uh, jalapenos and the pepper, and um, not pepper, jalapenos and garlic, and then we're going to come back and I'll show you what we do with the food. So we've browned the um, garlic, the uh, jalapenos, and the onions. So you can see they've got a nice little colour on them now. So what I'd like to do is add all the spices at this point. So I'm just tap all them in. I'm going to stir them up so it's all mixed well. I'm just going to let them cook for 30 seconds or so. Just to make sure all the onions have got all the spices covered. Mm, lovely. Mm, I love that smell. It's so weird if I said this before in the last video. It's done salivating. It's so good. <laughs> the, um, I never used to eat Indian food or Pakistani food before I met um, Shafiq. <laughs> go to Indian restaurants when I was younger and all my friends would have curries and I would order a melon. How weird is that? And now here I am cooking the stuff. So there we go. All right, so you can see the uh, spices all mixed, lovely. So now what we're going to do is add the tilapia. So we just carefully pop that in and then we're going to mix that gently. Don't, you don't want to do this too rough because we don't want to um, break the fish up. But we just want to get it, kind of get it coated with the onion mixture. That's lovely. Now, if all you're doing is the tilapia, then that's done for that moment. But if, uh, this is actually our dinner tonight, and so we want to have the extra, the uh, scallops and the prawns, the shrimp, that I defrosted as well. So I'm just gonna add them at this point. Whoops. 
but as I said, that's totally optional. You don't have to. It just adds a little something to it for us. We like it. And then the amount to add, literally, is what is you know. If there's four of you, add more. <laughs> if it's just two of you, add less. I don't know how else to say it. Um, okay, so that's fine. So now we're going to add the tomatoes. So pour that all over. Oops, mix that in again. Again, not just carefully, so we don't break the fish. That's lovely. I could probably actually do with a little bit more tomato. Just hold on one second, I'm just going to grab a bit of tomato. So this is what... There's one thing you'll notice about um, most of the dishes that I cook, is that you can be... You know, they're not, they're not set in stone how to make them. You can always add a bit more, take a little away. Unless I've absolutely said you must do it this way, you can, you know, you can uh, be a little relaxed about cooking. Okay, and then uh, the chicken stock, I said, um, what we want to do is make a sauce so it covers everything. So, um, let me just see how much. I'm going to pour out a cup and kind of see where we are with that amount. That looks pretty good. So again, just push that gently around. Make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowls. So you get all that lovely onions and jalapenos and garlic and sauce all mixed. So then I just gently kind of press down. I'll give the pot a little shake to make sure everything's covered. And then we're good to go. So what I'm going to do now is just pop the lid on. And I'm going to simmer this for um, probably six minutes. Turn the heat down a little lower. It's about six minutes and I'm going to come back, give it another little shake and then cook it for about another ten minutes and then we should be good to go. So I'll see you then. So I just want to show you, I've been cooking for about ten minutes and you can see, um, you see the fish is now white. So that's how you can tell where it's cooked and like the shrimp or the prawns are now gone pink. So I've taken the lid off now and then for the next five minutes or so I'm going to let it finish cooking with the lid off. Uh, again on the slow simmer. And then we're going to plate it up and you can have a look at the fish product. So here we are, our finished gorgeous fish curry. Now you can't tell me this isn't an easy dish to make. And really, it's like half an hour, 40 minutes, and you've got a fabulous dinner. So I'm just going to spoon out a little bit there so you can see. It's just got gorgeous, rich colours, lots of lovely spices. Um, now, how you can eat it, it it's uh, rice, obviously. That's how my kids like. Um, then the uh, for myself and Shafiq, because um, I'm a naughty one as well as saucy, I love to go to the Indian shop and buy the uh, paratas or the naan uh, chapatis that you, you cook. They sell them in the freezer section. You just put them in the frying pan and, and, uh, and the dry frying pan and they cook up like this. He, being the more healthier, self-conscious one, um, likes to eat pita bread. So either is fine. And there you have it. Gorgeous fish curry. So I hope you guys try it because it really is scrumptious. And uh, we're going to have this for dinner tonight. So goodbye. Good office. <laughs>